cervicograph is the most important part of the photogram. Why? Cervicograph actually tells you, it is a graph which tells you the progress of labor against time. So, cervicograph is actually telling you the descent and dilatation, that means progress of labor with respect to time. So, it is a part of partogram, right? So, it has, remember, it has two lines, alert line and action line. Every small box has 30 minutes. So, it means this big box is of 1 hour, right? Alert line and action line are separated by 4 hours. They are separated by 4 hours. Now, listen to this carefully. When do you start plotting on a partograph? you start at 4 cm. Now, you must be thinking that active phase is from 6 cm, then why? See, change in the active phase, previously active phase was 4 cm, now it is 6 cm. This change has occurred in by WHO in 2016 only. But the partogram has still not been updated. Partogram, in partogram, the line still starts from 4. So, partogram, you have to start plotting from 4 cm only, right? No matter the active phase is from 6 cm. So, plotting has to start from 4 cm on alert line. First plot you make has to be on the alert line. Like uh, suppose patient comes to you at 1 o'clock and she is 5 cm. So, your first plot will be across. So, this is your first 5 cm plot and patient it is at 1 o'clock. Then you will plot early here. This is 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. So, PV is generally repeated every 4 hours. Every 4 hours you will repeat the PV. After 4 hours you will see at 5 o'clock where she is, she has to be ideally at 9 cm. It means according to WHO in the partogram, the dilatation has to be at least 1 cm per hour. What normal dilatation we discussed was 1.5 in multi and 1.2 in primary, right? But can you plot 1.5 and 1.2 here? No. It's not that easy. So, for ease, partogram says that 1 cm per hour should be the dilatation at least in partogram. As soon as the dilatation slows, if the rate is less than 1 cm per hour, the plotting will immediately cross the alert line, right? So, as the plotting cross the alert line, it means you need to intervene. What intervention you will be doing? Either shift the patient to a better center. And if she is already in a better center, so this is the second active phase of labor. Do all the interventions you were doing in this active phase of labor, right? What were you doing? You were ruling out CPD, then see the contractions, start oxytocin. And even after doing all this, after 4 hours, it means after 4 hours, when you reach the action line, if the plotting is still on the action line, then you have to do the LHCS, right? So, by seeing this graph, you can know how the patient should be managed. Now, let us solve the questions. The following graph represent the stages of labor, which of the following is true about graph C. This is a graph C, this is mean. So, graph C, the latent phase seems okay. Now, progress of active phase started normally, but then it came to an arrest. No change is occurring for this long, from 12 to 16 hours. For 4 hours, there was no change. It means it is secondary arrest after progression of labor. Graph B is prolonged active phase and graph A is prolonged latent phase, right? You can see it here. Next is a lady, Gravida 3, Para 1, A1. So, she is a multi-Gravida patient, is admitted to labor room with cervix 4 cm, membranes intact, head is palpable 3 fifth. After 4 hours on repeat examination, cervix is 5 cm, station is unchanged. Cervicograph is on right side, which of the following is true? So, what we have not read in cervicograph is, we have read dilatation, we have not read descent. So, how the descent of head is plotted in cervicograph by from number 5 to 0. Here we plot descent of head. Descent of head is plotted according to the number of parts of head palpable per abdomen. If you are uh, putting the number 5 by 5, 5 by 5 means all the head is palpable per abdomen, head is free floating, right? 1 by 5 or below 1 by 5 will tell you that yes, head is engaged. 1 by 5 or below, head is engaged. 0 by 5 means head is deep into the pelvis. So, this is how you plot the descent of the head. Let us solve the question. Now, let us plot it in the cervicograph. She came suppose at 1 o'clock again, she is 4 cm. So, here is 1 o'clock, she was, yeah, she was 4 cm. So, this was the descent and head was 3 fifth. So, head was 3 fifth here. Right, after 4 hours, it means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. After 4 hours at 5 o'clock, she was only 5 centimeter dilated. So, her descent was this much. She was only 
5 centimeter right and the level of head was here only so this is your cervicograph now let's solve the question after plotting this the head was engaged at time of presentation no head is engaged when it is 1 by 5 or below that so this is gone cervical growth progress is satisfactory no definitely it is not satisfactory cervical growth status suggests that intervention is likely to be required yes it has crossed the alert line it means now the intervention is needed cervical graph on repeat would touch the action line you don't know it might pick up it might not pick up you don't know but definitely what you know is intervention is needed right next in partogram progression of labor is charted with respect to tell me with respect to cervical dilatation and descent partogram of 28 year old lady g2 p1 is shown below what is the next step in management so she is a multi patient so what we can see in fetal heart we can see that there is significant bradycardia it is reaching up to 80 amniotic fluid is getting m meconium stained molding now here it is plus 3 it has reached plus 8 means there is significant cephalopelvic disproportion see the cervical graph the descent has already crossed the action line the dilatation has crossed the action line contractions here contractions are how many in number they are 4 1 2 3 4 4 in 10 minutes and they are completely shaded it means they are good contractions so what will you do will you wait and watch no fetal head is really bad fetal heart is going really low you will not wait and watch oxytocin no the contractions are already good they are 4 in number good in density oxytocin is not required you just have to take the baby out immediately forceps or cesarean any one of you can do but why not forceps first thing molding is 3 plus it means there is gross cephalopelvic disproportion you cannot take the baby out then see the dilatation it is only 5 centimeters you cannot apply a forcep in a 5 centimeter dilated cervix you need fully dilated cervix so forcep is out what will you do is cesarean section right partograph represents various stages of labor respect to time true about partogram is all except each small square requires one hour no each small square is half an hour so this is our answer alert and action lines are separated by difference of four hours true partograph recording should be started at cervical dilatation of four centimeter true and always remember that send the patient to first referral unit when progression line crosses the alert line this is also true in partogram first time of initial markings are made in they are made on the alert line so left or right side of alert line is gone since they are made on the alert line so it is left of the action line a midwife at PSC is monitoring pregnancy and maintaining the partogram of pregnancy at how much cervical dilation should the partogram plotting be started tell me we have discussed so many times 4 centimeter right so we have discussed prolonged latent and active phase we have discussed the partogram huge topic I know now we will quickly cover prolonged second and third stage stay with me we will quickly cover them prolonged second stage of labor what it is what was the second stage from full dilatation to the delivery of baby when you call it prolong prolong means if it is more than three hours in primary and more than two hours in multi yes this definition has changed it is more than three hours in primary more than two hours in multi without epidural for epidural you will add plus one with each of them so remember this definition has changed now in books right if prolong now the baby has to come out the cervix is fully dilated if prolong what you have to do check the contractions start oxytocin then if still baby is not coming out assess the delivery by either applying in vacuum or forceps now you have to take the baby out still if the baby is not coming out or there is cephalopelvic disproportion lscs right prolonged third stage third stage is the stage of placental separation it is called prolonged if it is more than 30 minutes both in primary and multi same number 30 minutes so how to manage prolonged third stage of labor manual removal of placenta placenta is not coming out so now insert your hand and try to slice out between the uterine and placental surface and try to take it out if the placenta is adherent means if it is a creator or increta then you will know you will not be able to do the manual removal and you might have to take the patient for surgery right so manual removal is the first step then uterotonics see if it is not an abnormally adhered placenta that is a different pathology if it is a normal placenta which is not coming out the main pathology is that retroplacental myometrium is not getting contracted that is why placenta is not coming out so you have to give uterotonics which uterotonics oxytocin and mesoprost are preferred what you cannot give argometrin i have told you that argometrin cause 
it in the uterine contraction it contracts upper and lower segment both so tightly that it can cause retained placenta so you will not give ergometrin right another thing which is very upcoming is intraumbilical oxytocin injection it has also been tried that it also helps in uh, retain placenta not done everywhere but still it is one of the management steps so this is about prolonged third stage of labor so in this chapter of prolonged labor what are the important points which you cannot miss so the points which you cannot miss are the definitions of each one of them latent phases more than 20 hours in multi and more than 14 hours in primary active phases less than one point at least remember the dilatation if you cannot remember the scent at least remember dilatation less than 1.5 centimeter per hour in multi and less than 1.2 in primary second stage is more than three hours in primary and more than two hours in multi third stage is more than 30 minutes right management remember management of at least latent and active phase if you cannot remember anything at least in latent and active phase management you should know prolonged latent phase always observe do nothing always observe this was also the question yeah prolonged active phase give utrotonics do LSCS as per need but after ruling out CPD so rule out CPD then utrotonics or LSCS partogram in partogram what you have to remember each small box is 30 minutes alert and action line are separated by 4 hours plotting is started on the alert line once patient is at least 4 cm dilated and intervention is done when the patient's plotting crosses the alert line so these were the top three of prolonged labor so in this chapter we have read about preterm labor we read about abnormal fetal line presentation and in the end we covered the prolonged labor it was a huge chapter but we have successfully covered it so guys if you have any problems just just put it in the chat box and we'll i'll get back to you till then have a good study and have a good day bye bye